All right, for those of you who are uh, looking for uh, a bike to ride, maybe, or maybe even a car, or, you know, something that you might buy off Craigslist, let me give you a few reasons why you should be careful when you shop on Craigslist. So here's my most recent purchase, and yes, I am uh, definitely happy with it. However, there are a few things that were uh, not pointed out to me when I purchased it. So first off, the previous owner was like, yeah, sure, yeah, everything's there, yeah, everything's there. This key, yeah, you just, oh, come on, take this key and you just put it in there, and yeah, see? It's the right key, yeah, so it, it opens that up, yeah, it, that's, that's right. It, however, he uh, neglected to inform me that this key is, uh, no, yeah, doesn't work on the ignition, huh. Also, when you're like, yeah, I promise all the parts are there, well, generally it means all the parts are there, uh, so it's okay to leave out a few just not important ones like, I don't know, the shifters, the brake pedal, the exhaust pipes, the headlight, a working ignition. Yeah, besides that, everything's there, yeah. It also is sometimes important when attaching your brakes by yourself, which is, is fine, I can do that. It's also somewhat important to have uh, brake brackets that fit on the forks. Oh yeah, and these these uh, suspension things, these suspension springs. Yeah, they're pretty important. You know, they don't need to uh, they don't need to be attached. No, and they uh, definitely you don't need to include the the nut for that. That's not important either. Hey, at least I got this free eagle on the license plate holder. That's but hey, besides all that. It's kind of a nice bike, and uh, definitely look forward to building this, so stay tuned if you uh, are also excited to see the CB900 cruising down the street someday, eventually, maybe. Thanks for watching. See you later.